There were moments that actually made me chuckle. The Lost City stars Sandra Bullock as Loretta, a writer and recent widow who has lost her passion for writing her long-running and award-winning romance novels. After botching a book tour set on her by her friend and agent Beth due to a foul-up with the cover model Alan, played by Channing Tatum, Loretta is kidnapped by antagonist Fairfax, played by Daniel Radcliffe. You see, Loretta's most recent story, The Lost City of D, is based on real archaeology in the movie, and Fairfax is obsessed with finding the titular city and kidnaps Loretta to help discover it. Now it is up to Alan to find and rescue Loretta in this parody of romance novels and adventure films of the 1930s and 40s. Just as Indiana Jones was a celebration of the genre, The Lost City tries to be a parody. Taking the piss out of other films that have come up recently and failed, The Lost City embraces both the serious and absurd to its benefit. I mean, come on, Bullock is running around in a purple sequin jumpsuit most of the film in heels while Tatum is doing his best to look like a slap puppy. Which works since Tatum has the kind of smoldering chiseled jawline that causes spontaneous impregnation if he so much as looks in your girl's direction. On top of that, without his shirt, he has more topography than the state of Utah. So watching him bumble and prance around while trying to slap henchmen like Will Smith only to be manhandled like he decided to break the law in Gotham City actually leads to some funny moments. Moreover, some of the writing is actually clever. For example, there are moments like Loretta arriving on the island and the exchange that she has with Fairfax explaining how the city was discovered. The dialogue in that moment is in the vein of Mel Brooks. Yes, that is a higher praise, but understand, you have to weather a lot to get to those sparse sprinkles of brain power. Most of the dialogue is that really shitty writer I think I'm funny even though I'm just Ghostbusters 2016 rapid fire garbled nonsense that sounds like a squeaky toy strapped to the end of a reciprocating saw. Or in short, spunk gobbledygook. Most of the spunk gobbledygook could have and should have been cut out like these worthless intermissions with Beth. There's already little room to breathe between most of the dialogue, and when Beth is on screen, I feel like she is giving me COPD by proxy. The only thing Beth offers is a convenient conclusion to the story for no other reason than lazy writing. And it's pretty lame that humans are the only real threat. So much of the film is traveling from one scene to another, and despite being a parody, I find it odd that many of the cliches are ignored. For example, there are no real animal threats. That's... I mean, sure, there's the snake and leech scenes from the trailer, but no caiman or monkeys? There could have been a setup about man-eating baboons, and later, while everyone is surrounded thinking the end is near, it turns out they're just small monkeys that throw shit to deter predators. There is a lot more mileage in that idea than the entire leech scene. There also isn't a scene making fun of ancient temples and how the traps are still armed centuries later. Take the moment in Disenchanted, where the group enters the snow cave and two of the soldiers trigger traps and are flung into stalactites. Not the exact same, sure, but you could have had that kind of scene making fun of the way the traps haven't sprung already. Or, conversely, the traps have been sprung with a raccoon skewered to the wall. At least what was done for the tomb at the end was somewhat heartwarming, if underwhelming. Overall, I'm amazed I had a better time watching The Lost City than I did Uncharted. A bit lackluster in many cases, being too reserved and focusing on people as the only real threat, probably, for the purpose of budget. The dialogue could have really used a once-over or two, and the film should have been more courageous to dive in deeper into the parody, because that is what held it back so much. But since it didn't, The Lost City will just kind of fade away as an alright but chuckle-worthy comedy that in time will just become its own lost story. Now please, like, Share, ring the bell, and subscribe to watch more movie reviews like my discussion of X and why it is not the homage that people think it is at the link here. And I'll see you in the next video.